Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74. We are now going back to our regular programming of non HDR Red Dead Redemption videos. Um, going to play some other titles that I've had building up until Red Dead is patched. That's just my opinion. I want to play the game when it is at its best, uh, though I thought it was an amazing game, or is an amazing game. Um, going back to the Halloween Steam Stale, I picked up this game, which I've looked at for a long time, which was Rise, Son of Rome, which is gorgeous, by the way. Um, this game was a launch title, I believe, for the Xbox One, 2012, 2013. Wasn't received very well, it was definitely a graphical showcase, but I think people thought it was predictive, or a lot of the same enemy types. Um, I will tell you, though, I picked it up on Steam for three bucks, and I think on Xbox, it was definitely one of those monthly Xbox Live free titles. If you have an Xbox or um, a PC, check it out for a few bucks. It's definitely worth playing. It's gorgeous. I mean, beautiful game. The combat is pretty amazing as well. Pretty brutal, if you remember anything from Gladiator. But very, very detailed title. And a decent little story that goes with it. I mean, really impressive. Let's see if we can get some combat going. Do it. If I don't die. But definitely cool game. I'd say probably the knock on it is like any beat em up, I think things can get repetitive. But the combat, it's not really as much button prompts as it just has a flow to it. But like a lot of beat em ups, it really is, you know, you're just kind of killing over and over and over again. Kind of reminds me of Arkham Knight going back and forth, the action kind of being fluid like that. It's very funny, not to get back on the HDR thing, but um, Microsoft, the, the, the HDR is a little wonky, and if you keep it enabled once in a while, the game will grab it, and I actually end up turning HDR on in a game that doesn't support it, and it got really faded, and I freaked out for a second. I was like, no, 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 don't give me that.
Get surrounded pretty quickly, obviously. But the environments are just so detailed. Definitely a very little repetitive with the combat, but again, think $3, and think if you're on Xbox, this could be one of those titles that does come back every month. You can pick it up used, I'm sure, for a few dollars. But very good looking game, as I have fire on my shield. But nice to do a video on something other than Red Dead and get back to the normal crew that watches the videos. And uh, sorry in the comments that things got very toxic in the last couple of videos. Um, you know, that's not how we roll the channel. Um, but thank you as always for watching. Check out this game if uh, you have an Xbox or a PC. But I definitely am enjoying it. Definitely a gorgeous game. And it does kind of show you too, guys, in regards to HDR. A lot of us feel that HDR looks like this. And it's really just, you don't really necessarily need HDR, but that's kind of the image we're looking for that isn't even in this title. So that's what I always meant about like washed out and just things that have to be just more detailed. And the lighting is very clever and very detailed world, but just gives you that atmospheric feeling. All about that immersion, guys. All right, guys, thank you as always. This is Rise, Son of Rome on Steam or on the Xbox. Get it used for just a few bucks. Thank you as always, guys. Take care.